All right, so this is my last day in Trash Goblins. I am switching over to another alliance, and I just thought I'd go over some tips and tricks real quick for switching alliances. So when you're ready to bail, uh, first thing you want to do is figure out, are you getting the weekly rewards on Sunday afternoon that get paid out for Alliance War or Raid Season? And if you are, you probably want to stick around until after they're paid out just to make sure you get them. If you don't, it's possible you may not, and then you have to go through support and request to get these... Uh, sent to you and get your compensation which is kind of a pain in the ass um other things that you want to do uh just some housekeeping things um ask your new alliance you know when they're ready going to be ready to invite and ask them when the raids start if the raids are going to start well after you join or the next day you may want to go spend all your raid energy on raids currently in progress just to use up the energy get the rewards for those nodes at least you won't get the rewards for the end of the raid unless you stay through the end of the raid but uh, get that if you can other thing to do is go into your alliance donation and make sure you hit each of these boxes and claim each of your rewards for the day if you can't get to the third one um, great if not you know at least get the few hundred on the way and then you may want to use uh, current stark tech level that you have on your current alliance if the new one isn't quite as high then uh, you may not get um, as much stuff right you may not be able to upgrade as much as you like so you probably want to burn some uh, credits just in case your new alliance is lower level if it's higher then no big deal you don't really lose anything um, let's see let's get some armor for mutants almost at 4 million power all right last couple of things that you want to do is uh, you know Make sure you've informed your, new, your old alliance that you're leaving and make sure you got an invite from your new one. If you go into the settings, this is something that people commonly miss. You must hit this allow alliance invites button. If you do not, they can't send you an invite and you have to go and request it, which can be a trouble, uh, a troublesome kind of task. Uh, and like I said, just make sure you spend your energy on raids. So I know that ours will be starting in about four hours, so I'm good here. Uh, that means I should be around 30 energy uh, or more just to make sure I'm at full energy or close to it whenever we start the raids. Uh, last things, uh, once you accept your new invite, so I'm going here, uh, accept and confirm. And there we go. Uh, I think I broke the game. That's weird. Not sure what's going on now. Did I do this right? <laughs> okay, you may have to reload your game. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and back out back in. Uh, I haven't changed alliances in over a year, so this is a uh, new territory for me. The other thing you wanna be aware of is in your new alliance, you will not be able to contribute to milestones or raid tickets for 24 hours, as well as setting your defense for war or even attacking in war. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an alarm for myself on my phone that's at uh, 24 hours from now. So tomorrow I will use my 50 core refreshes for energy and spend up after that timer is over so that I can contribute raid tickets tomorrow. Because if I spend them all as soon as the day resets, it'll be too early in the day and I won't be able to get those tickets for my new alliance. And then we'll be behind 1200 tickets for the day or around that instead of only 600 that they may be out, which they may not actually be out if the person I'm replacing did their, um, did their stuff. So now I'm in, uh, I had to reset, there's me. I have joined and uh, I am good to go. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is check out their alliance uh, donation level, just cause I'm curious. I'm pretty sure I know where they are. I just wanna double check and uh, see if I can collect these rewards for double bonuses. Uh, and I cannot. <laughs> All right, I was just gonna check. I thought it'd be a sneaky way of doing things, but uh, yeah, see they're level 75, so right at where my old one was. Um, no real loss there, and uh, I'll continue buying stuff as needed. Uh, but those are the couple of things I would recommend. Um, you know, like I said, the milestones, you can't contribute to them, but you can collect them, I believe, um, if, you were, uh, if you weren't as far along. Uh, so you can see here, I can't claim any of these yet. Um, but I should be able to once we start unlocking them. And uh, this is about where my old alliance was. So I'm really not losing any progress here. Uh, still got a ways to go for Colson, but you know, that's all right. I'll make it there when I get there. All right, next thing you do after you've joined, go ahead and turn off this allow alliance invites thing so you don't accidentally accept one while you're going through your mail. Uh, that's really important. And then, uh, like I said, you know, in 24 hours, you can just keep continuing to play as normal. But for the first day, try to remember to hold off on your uh, energy spending and, uh, you know, and then get ready for your alliance donation as well uh, later in the day. Set your war defense and uh, then you'll be able to go on just as you always were. So. 
Cheers to my trash goblin homies. I will uh, miss that alliance, but you know we're closing shop, so it's time to go and try uh, to soar even higher. But uh, this may be too much. I might get burned out by going to a very intense alliance, but we'll see. So hoping it works out. Hope it works great. We'll see. Uh, definitely gonna be trying my hardest. Uh, probably the hardest I've ever tried in this game. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, cheers, everybody. I'll catch you later.